me is Reichstag, which is the German Parliament building. And right on top of it is a glass dome. So the dome is actually open to the public and you can check it out, but there's about a month long waiting list to get up there. But I found out a secret. There's a restaurant inside the glass dome. So if you make a reservation about a week in advance, you have access to the dome and an amazing breakfast. So we're gonna go have breakfast right now. And they, if I may, may, may. and it is gorgeous up here. I highly recommend getting the traditional German breakfast. It is 28 euro and it comes with croissants and yogurt and cheese and meat slices, a um, little bit of everything. It was absolutely delicious and it's really pretty. It comes on like a little tiered thing. Um, oh, it also comes with champagne. So the dome was actually damaged during bombings in World War II and so it had to be reconstructed, which is why it is so modern looking. So after you've had breakfast, you can come and pick up a free audio guide and walk inside the dome. You can see the whole city from up here. So you're going over here, which used to be a royal hunting ground. You can see all the monuments and all the other parliament buildings. So right down below me is a glass ceiling and under the glass ceiling is the plenary chamber and that's where the German parliament makes all of their decisions. Heading back down now. So to make a reservation you just need to email the restaurant and I will put an email link below in the description for you guys so you can do it too. Berlin has tons of really cool flea markets but most of them recently have been oversaturated with imports or they're just overrun by tourists, so the prices have been hiked up. But I found the local flea market. So this market is where the locals go to find the really good vintage pieces at the local prices. So we're going to Raw Flow Market in Kreuzberg. Well, that was awesome. I got a lot of really good stuff in the backpack. Um, a tip, if you come towards the end of the day, around five o'clock, the vendors tend to give you more of a discount because they don't want to bring the stuff home with them. So to finish my day, I am heading to Klunker Krennic, which is a rooftop beer garden on top of a parking structure. It's got great views of the city. Normally you can catch the sunset. A little cloudy today, but it's really a great place to hang out. Another really cool lesser known spot is a hike right inside the city. So at the beginning of the hike, there's a couple of beer gardens where you can fuel up and then get hiking.
heading to Teufelsberg, Berlin. Teufelsberg translates into Devil's Mountain. So Teufelsberg is called Devil's Mountain because it was originally a Nazi training college and then at the end of World War II, the Allied forces tried to destroy it. They weren't able to. It was built so sturdily that they couldn't destroy it. So instead, they buried it with rubble. And then it was turned into a listening facility or spy tower that the Americans and the British used to listen in and see what was happening in Eastern Berlin. So overall, the hike from the train station to getting up here was only about a mile and a half. It took me maybe 30 minutes. There's like a little bar when you first walk in that you can buy a club mate or beer and a currywurst or bratwurst and just kind of relax and sit and hang out here. Badeschiff is a private beach club in the Kreuzberg area of Berlin. They have sandy beaches, a snack shack, a full bar, volleyball, beds, swings, and a clean pool. The pool is actually made out of an old container barge that an artist rendered into a pool. The pool itself is actually floating in the water of the Spree, which is the river here in Berlin. So we're gonna lay out. There's a nice big sunning dock right before you get to the water. Um, I'm gonna get a nice little drink and I'm gonna relax and enjoy the sun. Last thing to do here on my list is go to Edelweiss on Tuesday nights. So Edelweiss is a restaurant built into one of the buildings of an abandoned train station in the middle of Golitzer Park. And on Tuesday nights they have Jazz Jam upstairs. It's my favorite thing to do on a Tuesday. I've done it almost every Tuesday since I've been here. The music's great, uh, the drinks are cheap. It's only five euro and it's so much fun. So those are my cool, super unique things to do here in Berlin. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. And subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more coming. Bye.